It's uh, it's Santa Claus. Then there's this. This is going to sound. I I'm convinced that we have listeners in the Czech Republic because there was an editorial. Stephen Hayward at Powerline got hold of a translation of a paragraph of an editorial. This is from Facebook friends. A translation of an editorial from the Czech newspaper Prager Zeitungen. Prager Zeitungen. And here's the translation. The danger to America is not Obama, but a citizenry capable of entrusting a man like him with the presidency. This is the Czech Republic. It's not me. Although I did say this. This is the Czech Republic, which not too long ago escaped the jackbooted thugs of Soviet communism. It'll be far easier to limit and undo the follies of an Obama presidency than to restore the necessary common sense and good judgment to a depraved electorate willing to have such a guy for their president. The problem is much deeper and far more serious than Mr. Obama, who is a mere symptom of what ails America. Blaming the prince of fools should not blind anyone to the vast confederacy of fools that made him their prince. The republic can survive a Barack Obama who is merely a fool. It's less likely to survive a multitude of fools such as those who, those who elected him. And made, that's the Czech Republic newspaper. That's, of course, this is going to be said to be mean-spirited, unkind, and harmful to the Republicans. And then, remember the caller we had in California last week? So upset, what's happening to his state? He was going on and on. I said, yeah, Rush, you remember they, they, when, they, when they passed the lottery out here, they promised that it would pay for education for 25 years. Now, he was listing a bunch of things wrong with the state. And I said, sir, the people of that state are voting for it. They are not being fooled. The people of California just voted to raise taxes on themselves. Now, they think they're raising taxes on the rich, but before it's all said and done, they're raising taxes on those who still pay taxes. By the way, the number of people actually paying for California to work is shocking. Somebody sent me a note. There was apparently a discussion, a roundtable discussion recently, and one of the participants on the roundtable said if you count all the living souls in California, including inmates, mentally ill, children, retirees. But don't count state government employees. Count everybody but state government employees. 37% of the California population actually works. And of the 37%, only half make enough to pay taxes. So in California, only 37% are creating anything of value. And of that 37%, only 18% are actually paying taxes to support the system. Is it any wonder, then, that on November 6th, Californians voted to raise taxes on those people? And Mayor Brown's all happy. This tax increase is going to work because the people voted for this one. They didn't have this one shoved down their throats, and he's right. They're getting what they want. They're voting for what they're getting. They're not being fooled at all. People of California want... What is happening? There's no arguing that, folks. No way, shape, matter, or form. Just like there's no arguing here that we are dealing with this phenomenon known as Santa Claus that exists in a Democrat party. No question about it whatsoever. I told you we're going to have more Christmas tunes as we get closer to the season. Highlighting Barack Claus, and we do. Just hear those Obama phones ringing, that ringtone of me singing my turn. Come on, it's lovely weather to go forward together with you. Outside as stocks are falling, occupiers are calling me dude. The Senate doesn't matter, Obamacare's headed for you. Give it up, give it up, give it up, let go, turn off the radio. There's nothing on from noon to three, you know. Give it up, give it up, give it up, it's grand, free phone in your hand. We're puffing along on a bong that'll take you to the promised land. <coughs> There's a happy feeling knowing all the votes 
your bar when you pass around the presents at election time. It's nearly just like when Barney Frank first saw his future wife. Ooh, these wonderful phones are the things. These wonderful phones are the things. These wonderful phones are the things that in 2012 saved my heart. Just hear those Obama phones ringing that ringtone of me singing my tune. Come on, it's lovely weather to go forward together with you. We'll pave the road before us with borrowed roses and boots. Come on, it's lovely weather now. Get together now. Cell phones ringling, ring ting tingling, stocks are falling. Your friends are calling. It's lovely weather. It's lovely weather. It's lovely weather to go forward together with you. <laughs> Get the most outrageous Obama parodies ever on Paul Shanklin's new hilarious CD, You Didn't Build That. Available only at paulshanklin.com. That's Paul, S-H-A-N-K-L-I-N dot com. Hey, he didn't build that. You're listening to the EIB Network. From the Hill.com, groups backing an extension of unemployment benefits have launched a new round of lobbying to convince Congress to extend federal benefits to the long-term jobless. A coalition of advocates, including the National Employment Law Project, held more than 40 meetings with lawmakers on Capitol Hill during the first week of the lame duck session to make their pitch for $30 billion to extend the unemployment benefit program. Well... See the natural reaction to that? Here comes Santa Claus. Here comes Santa Claus. Right down there. The wonder of Rush will continue on the EIV.